Hello, I'm Sid Hunter, here at the Srila Prabhupada Museum in Los Angeles. Over the past several years, I've had the good fortune of being the editor of ITV's acclaimed Acharya series. In a few minutes, you'll be seeing the Acharya Part 5, another wonderful collection of documentary film clips that provide us with an intimate glimpse into the remarkable personality of that great visionary and spiritual teacher, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. But sadly, this will be the final show in the Acharya series. The film segments that you are about to see represent the very last remaining 16 millimeter sound synchronized material in our collection of intimate footage of Srila Prabhupada. All of us at ITV feel honored to have participated in the production of the entire series, and we extend our heartfelt thanks to Yadabara Das and his wife Vishaka Dasi, who gave us so much of the original footage that was used to compile these shows. Certainly everyone who personally knew and loved Srila Prabhupada will appreciate the opportunity to rekindle and relish the sublime memory of his presence. And for those who never met Srila Prabhupada in person, we hope that these rare, all too brief moments will serve as an inspiration to learn more about his saintly personality and his teachings. <laughs> At the ripe old age of 69, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, boarded an Indian steamship bound for America. Like so many who have come before, he arrived with only a few dollars, a couple of battered trunks, and a dream. But his was not the usual dream of freedom, fame, or fortune. Srila Prabhupada had a bold vision for the re-spiritualization of the entire Western world. He sought to transform the predominantly material consciousness of the West by transplanting the ancient religious traditions of India, first to America and then throughout the world. The seeds that this elderly saffron-robed holy man planted took immediate root and blossomed into an international spiritual movement that profoundly influenced the lives of millions of people. In just 12 years, from 1965 until he passed away in 1977, Srila Prabhupada circled the globe some 14 times, preaching, gathering disciples, and opening hundreds of centers for the study and practice of Krishna consciousness. In that time, he also managed to write and publish over 80 volumes of translation and commentary on the sacred texts that form the basis of Indian religious and philosophical thought winning lavish praise from the academic community for his dedicated scholarship and profound insight. Today, his books are available in over 30 languages and are being printed at the phenomenal rate of 20 million copies a year. All of Srila Prabhupada's accomplishments were the result of his single-minded determination to make the science of self-realization both understandable and achievable even in a world increasingly consumed by material values. By his tireless preaching, such fundamental spiritual concepts as vegetarianism, karma, and reincarnation have become widely understood and accepted. But Srila Prabhupada's struggle against all odds to establish a spiritual beachhead in the Western world is more than just a tribute to his fierce and vigorous resolve. His remarkable success was in great part due to an engaging personal warmth, a rare blend of deep moral strength and quiet humility that inspired both reverence and affection. Srila Prabhupada succeeded because his life and personality were the epitome of the ideal he set forth for others to follow. He could offer to everyone he met, not just a theory, but a practical way of living. At every moment, he was a true Acharya, a holy man who teaches others by example. <clears throat> that is our motto. Krishna is son. Hmm. Amen.
Krishna Surya Sama. And Krishna Sun is there. All these glow arms. Lightning. We will finish. Keep this sun always shining. And then this glow arms will be finished. There was one newspaper article in the papers. Mm. I was reading, they were advertising a new book uh, about the evolution of man. And they were saying that there was approximately two million varieties of life on this planet. This was the calculation of the scientists. Two million? Mm. No, eight million. All right. <laughs> You were saying the other day that all the species of life were mentioned in the Padma Purana. So I'll give an account on it. Is, it. is it divided by country or within one country there are many species? You are taking up country, but ask the rotation of the planets. Hmm. Not of the country. Your idea is very simple. National. But Shastra is not, there is no such thing as national. They take the whole universe as a whole. <coughs> they consider from that angle of one planet or universe, like let's say last night the girl was starting yeah, how this planet can be governed by one king. But yeah, it was being actually done. And the whole universe is being governed by Brahma, one person. So one must know how to govern. It's like we have got different GBCs for different jobs. Similarly, they are doing their duty nicely. All these planets are the different uh, residential quarter of the pandemic of they are controlling the whole universe. In comparison to them, the human being is nothing. Very good chance of realizing God in the human form. Just like uh, difference between Western country and India. In India, a very quick chance of realization of God. The atmosphere is so nice. So, this planet is good for God realization, and the best place is in India. So, in this planet, everybody is meat eating. In this country, everybody is performing sinful activity. Everybody is decreasing. More you are becoming sinful, the rain will decrease. So it is decreasing now. Yeah. And at the end there will be no rain. The, this whole planet will be ablaze with fire. That is the beginning of destruction. Or there will be scarcity of rain. There will be scarcity of rain and scarcity of food grains. The best thing is at night there must be heavy rain, and daytime there should be sunshine. Then the uh, field will be very fertile. That is knowledge. But they have no knowledge. They simply want to enjoy. They do not care for death also. Uh, simply sense care. This is called dhanam. Dawn of life. They say originally there was just a, a cell, and by adaptation, in some circumstances, one kind would live and another would die. So all these varieties adapted to different conditions. Who adapted? Well, they just <laughs> Who managed? Accidentally. <laughs> ah, that is nonsense. Nothing happens accidentally. That is nonsense. There must be some arrangement. What is happening is accidentally. 
Well, they say why, every... why you are taking care of the trees? So many things. Nothing is done, accident. You do not see the cause. If accident is there, let accident come and I become rich man. Why do they try? Why do they go to the college? Let ac accidentally become a man. This is all Raskan time. Dr. Myers finds that he's chanting Hare Krishna a little in the shower now. <laughs> when he takes a shower, he chants a little more. One press reporter in the Berkeley University in the beginning, he wrote his article and he read that after hearing this Hare Krishna for a few minutes, I came home chanting all the road Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. <laughs> So when you conquer over these base qualities, uh, then we become happy. Tadarasthamo bhava kamalo bhadayasthaji chita iti anavidyam. When the consciousness is not influenced by these base qualities, chita iti anavidyam, sati prasidati being situated on the platform of Satogon, he feels happy. That is the beginning of spiritual life. When so long the mind is disturbed by lusty desires and greediness, there is no question of spiritual life. See, therefore, the first business is how to control the mind. Uh, so that it may not be influenced by the base quality, lusty desires and greediness. We have seen in Paris, old man, seventy-five years old, is going to the night club. because the lusty desire is there. He pays fifty dollars for entering the club, and then he pays further for other things. So even he is seventy-five years old, the lusty desire is there. Sky at once or different times, or are there any souls that are always good? They're not foolish. They don't no, fall. there are majority, 90%, they're always good. They never fall down. So we're among the 10%? Yes. Yeah. Or less know? than that. In the, in, the, in the material, whole material world, all the living entities, they're just like in the prison. A house. There are some population, but they are not majority. The majority of the population, they are outside the prisoner. Similarly, majority of living being part and parcel of God, they are in the spiritual world. Only a few falls down. Does Krishna know ahead of time that the soul is going to be foolish and fall? Krishna? Yes, Krishna may know because he is omniscient. Are more souls falling all the time? Huh? Not spirit? all the time, but there is the tendency of all down. Not for all, but because there is independence. Everyone is not liking to misuse the independence. The same example, it's like a government constructing a city and constructs also a prison house. Because the government knows that somebody will be criminal. 
So their shelter must be also constant. It is very easy to understand. Not that cent percent population will be criminal, but government knows that some of them will be. Otherwise, why they construct prison houses? One may say, where is the criminal? You are constructing. The government knows, no, there will be criminal. So, if the ordinary government can know, why God cannot know? Because there is tendency. The origin of that tendency is. Yes. From where does that tendency? Tendency come? means the independence. So, everyone can know that independence means one can use it properly, one can misuse it. Misuse it. That is independence. Therefore. It is the duty of the human being how to control the mind, not act like cats and dogs. That is human being. He should be inquisitive. Why uh, this happening? Why this happening? And he should take education. That is human life. That is the difference between human being and dog. That's what Vedic injunction is. Go and inquire. You have got this human form of life. Atharata Brahma Jigyasa. Now this is the time for inquiring about the soul. That we Gyanatham sa Guru Meva Aviyache. If you want to understand this science, then go to proper Guru and take lessons from him. The same thing as we instruct our children, if you want to be educated in the higher status of life, go to school, go to college, take lesson. That is human society. The dog's father will never ask the dog, child, go to school. No, they are dogs. The hippies are dissatisfied with the method of modern materialistic way of life. Is it not? They have given away their possessions and eh? they, they have chosen to Voluntarily, they are giving up possessions. Sit down. Ladies, you are from the Chicago Daily News. Because they had already given up uh, material possessions and so they were prepared. No, they misguided. They want to have something new, but uh, they are not accepting what is actually better. Some of them are accepting. But there is frustration, there is no doubt. There is no doubt. Is there? Frustration. Frustration. Yes. This we are materialistic way of life, like their fathers, grandfathers. They do not like. Is it not? Eh? I think so. Yes. In Los Angeles, do you live? Do you live in uh, richness? Do you have a, a car and a chauffeur and a, a yacht? I'm, I'm the guru of the richest country. Why shall I not have car? Do you follow? No, no. <laughs> if I am guru of the richest country, then why shall I not have a car? So you, you have one? I have many. In each center I have got at least one dozen cars. <laughs> Just now I'm coming from uh, Europe, Germany. They have got nineteen vans, nineteen. They go interior villages. 
the Volkswagen. What is called Volkswagen? Oh, sorry, bus. Bus, bus. Yes. <laughs> so uh, our devotees is a factor in each bus, and they go in interior in the village. Similarly, in every center we have one. In Germany, in England, in Los Angeles, in New York. Here also? Yes. There's nine vehicles here. Huh? Nine miles. Yes. Nine vehicles in Chicago? Yes. Some spiritual leaders of various groups live in great richness with a chauffeur and uh, uh, expensive cars and boats. Yes. What about you? And because I know you are envious, therefore I don't sit here. I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> you are very envious when a spiritual master is honored very nicely by his disciples. You become envious. What can we do? But that is the um, etiquette. The spiritual must be honored as good as God. But if you really do not know, you become envious. Why this man is sitting in this position, in this God, just way? Why he? What can be done? Are you honored as good as God? Yes. Yes. Shri yes. Prabhupada is the most exalted personality on the earth. So he must be honored in the highest fashion. Now that is the injunction. Just saprasadha you know. What is that verse? Shakshadharitena samastha shastri ruktastatha bhavata eva sadhvi kintu prabhurja priya eva tasya. Spiritual master should be honored as good as God. That is the injunction of the scripture. But the tailor according to the body, made a covering of this hand, and this looks like a hand. This covering of the chest looks like a chest. Therefore the impersonal means the material covering. Otherwise, the spirit soul is personal. You say go to the tailor. According to your body, the tailor will cut a coat. This coat, ingredients of the coat, the cloth, that is impersonal. But it is made like a person, covering of the person. In other words, the spirit soul is person. As much as God is also person. In person means the covering. Try to understand. The covering is in person, not the uh, living being who is covered. He is not in person. He is person. Very simple example. The coat shirt is impersonal, but the man who is putting on coat and he is not impersonal. He is personal. So, how God can be impersonal? The material energy is impersonal. That is explained. That, that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya tatamidam sadvam jagat abhakta murti. This jagat is abhakta, impersonal. And that is also energy of Krishna. Therefore, he says, I am expanded in the impersonal form. The impersonal feature is Krishna's energy. So the material 
covering is impersonal. But the spirit soul or the super soul is personal. Any question in this? This is very intricate question. Anyone? I will have to sign. This payment Book Trust has paid. Yes. To me. Yes. But that is my money, not your money. Yes. I am paying you. Yes. It has been simply sent through you. Transfer. Transfer. But actually Book Trust is not paying to me. No. No. So under this account, what is the account? What that is you are debiting that paid to AC Bhakti and to sign. I have written it as a transfer because your divine grace told me you were going to give me these uh, certified checks. Oh. So but if I can do it another way. Uh, if you do not want to deposit the checks with us, uh, I will write it as a donation to some project in India. Whatever the money will be used for, I can simply make it a donation. A donation, that's all right. But uh, you are not donating, you are taking payment. Only if you want. Uh, no. You give me a statement. Uh, if not many months, at least in this month, what is the receipt and how is it is spent and what is the balance? For this account in India? No, no. Every month you'll give me a statement. A BBT? Yes. So much receipt, so much spent. Oh, yes, I can do that. Uh, Every month? Every month. No yeah. problem. Uh, I am doing that already and sending a full report to Bhagavan and Hansa Duda each month. So you can give me one copy? Yes. I never did before because I didn't want All to right. disturb you with the details. No details. Give me this. Now uh, I love to also keep a record. So you can for tennis fire receive the check. Yes. Is that all right? Yes. I am giving in favor of BBT. Yes. And you... We are acting like your bank. Huh? We are at BBT is acting like your bank. Yes, that's it. That is it. There is no sufficient man or they are not working. Otherwise there is tremendous market. Mm. I did it personally. When I was alone, I was selling this Bhagavad. All the school, college, I was very, uh, with great delight they were taking. And then I have got standing order of the um, um, American embassy, eighteen copies of each book as soon as it's published. The same standing up. But these people are not doing no. Uh, 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 India management is 
So for the time being, it, the money will not be used for the construction in uh, Mayapur. It will be used to print books. Mayapur, they have already taken one and a black from me. Now Gopal Krishna in India requested that BBT mm. give him a loan of $160,000. In India, just this during the Mayapur festival, he requested a loan from a US BBT mm. for $160,000, which would be used to construct the uh, second residence building. I will pay back. His plan was that the American temples would purchase rooms and over a period of four or five years they would pay that money back. So is that still approved by you by your divine grace? Yes, I know that. The only thing is that we will have to delay the loan because for the next three months all our money will be used to print these seventeen books. Hustable books. Then blow. However, we cannot hold up printing. That is not possible. This you must always keep in view. We are not going to uh, the surplus money. We are going to pay. Not that at the cost of stopping printing. You must always keep it. When you require money for printing, there is no question of loan or temple business. This will be our. He says, "How would we react if someone breaks in and tries to rob the building?" Rob? A thief. What would we do if a thief came in? In other words, what would we do? He came in, he shall punish him. You shall be violent? Why not? A thief should be punished. You would punish yourself? What would you do? I mean, we just start attacking him? No. Ourselves or anyone. A thief has, is to be punished. A thief has to be punished. Ourselves or yourself, it doesn't matter. A thief is safe. He should be punished. What if he breaks in because he's hungry? Who breaks? He says, what if he breaks in because he's hungry? Hmm? What if he becomes in as a thief because he wants something? But we, we said everyone come and eat. Why he should remain hungry? Mm-hmm. We are invite everyone to come here and eat. No charge. We don't mm-hmm. charge. So why should he remain hungry? Let us increase this program. All hungry men of Melbourne city, come here. They take your eating, sensuous. We invite, come on. Why you should remain hungry? The so minister is elected according to party in our society. They, because they have made a department just like you do. What is the department? Social well, welfare. Social welfare. So if they find social welfare, why not help? Why they bring politics? If actually there is social welfare here, why they should not support it? Yeah, well, you're right. But in our society, minister is elected to carry out certain policies. Not what he wants, but what the people sort of voted for. And say so tax to support. And if your policy is social reformation, Social reform is not our policy. The social welfare. So just to look after those who are in trouble. Mm. That's our policy. But everyone is in trouble. What? At the present moment, even the ministers are in trouble. Yes, but that is not what our function is. Everybody is in trouble. <laughs> Physician heal thyself. Mm. You see? They are also drunkards, they are also woman hunters, <laughs> and meat eaters, and gambling. They require to be yeah. rectified. But they can't help that. That's society. You have to go and change society. Then society tells us to act But now, unless you change the society, how can you make social welfare? 
we honestly try that was all yeah Dr. Gerson has promised that he'll read every single one of your books before he writes his book. He's very That's serious. That's very kind of. We have one about 50 books. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. <laughs> and it is increasing. <laughs> Perhaps in the next two months, we shall increase another 17 books. When the person came first, he was doing some drugs or some nonsense. And now that he's taken the Krishna consciousness, he's become so much more of a healthy and wholesome that person. That is the test. That is the test. That is the real test. How uh, we got so many devotees from the hippie group. So how they have given up all the bad habits. This but is the real, is the real test. test. So the function of this testing is to show that that, that change takes place in a way that other scientists will accept it. That is his purpose. Oh, that's nice. And that is already admitted by educated class. Therefore, they are becoming attractive. Well, there are still many who aren't familiar with the yes, movement, and I, I hope to uh, familiarize but them. But I say that even there is something wrong, it is not impediment. They are making propaganda that these American devotees, they are CIA. <laughs> this propaganda is very strong in India, making the people against these American boys who are preaching. I would like to show them a path so that they won't be cheated any but longer. But why do you know the path? I'm trying to learn. So, first of all, learn it. Otherwise, you'll be cheating. If you do not know the art, and if you want to uh, do some benefit to the others, then that is cheating. Suppose a physician, he does not know what is the medical science, and if he wants to become a physician, that is cheating. Quack. <laughs> I, I hope through the study that I'm doing with the devotees and the books that comes out of it that it will help them not be cheated any longer and show them the right way. Yeah. He's advising his patients that they should chant Hare Krishna and come to the temple. Then is the... <laughs> <laughs> then you are friend. Another thing I would like to do is, is go to Gurukul and test the children and show what NBC did was very false and unfair. Television, they did a very bad story on Guru Kula. Yes, that the cheater. Mm. He wants to cheat and get some money. That's all. He wants to because the whole so-called human society is combination of cheater and cheated. So anyone who is acting without Krishna consciousness is a cheater, and anyone who is thinking himself at once without Krishna consciousness, he is cheating. This is the basic truth. I mean Krishna consciousness, not consciousness. Sakalan Gunan Bhasham 
ಬಂದಿ ಗುರಸೀ ಚರಣ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಕೀರ್ತನ ನಿತ ಗೀತ ಬಾಧಿತ್ರ ಮಾಜನ್ಮನ ಸೋರಸೇನ ರೋಮಾಂಚಕಂಪಾಸುತರಂಗಭಾಜೋ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಸೀ ಚರಣ ಶಾರದಾವಾನಲೀರಲೋಕ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಯ ಕಾರಿಣ ಘನಾಘನ ಸಪ್ತಲ್ಯನ ಗುಣಾರ್ನವಶ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಶ್ರೀ ಚರಣ ಶ್ರೀವೇಗಹಾರಾಧನ ನಿತ್ಯನ ಶೃಂಗಾರ ತನ್ಮಂದಿರ ಮಾಜನಾದ ಶ್ರೀವಿಗ್ರಹಾರಾಧನ ನಿತ್ಯನ ಶೃಂಗಾರ ತನ್ಮಂದಿರ ಮಾಜನಾದ ಭಕ್ತಿಜಂಜತೋಪಿ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಶ್ರೀ ಚರಣ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿಜಂಜತೋಪಿ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಶ್ರೀ ಚರಣ ಸಂಸಾರದಾವಾಲೀಲೋಕ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಯ 